Now across our borders, concerns are rising over whether Pakistan's February 8 general elections will be free and fair as challenges mount for the political party of former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Adding to their uncertainty are calls to delay elections and deteriorating security. Sarah Zaman reports. Nearly 127 million Pakistanis are registered to vote in the February 8 general elections. But former Prime Minister Imran Khan, the country's most popular leader according to opinion polls, will not be on the ballot. He's in jail on corruption charges and disqualified from running for office. His party, Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf or PTI, is struggling to campaign freely in public and online. The most important is the most of the leadership is in hiding. It is actually being arrested. Our political leaders and supporters are actually being harassed. Whosoever actually comes and supports PTI, he is being harassed. The top leadership's nominations form have been rejected. PTI has been facing a military back crackdown since last May, when the former premier's supporters stormed sensitive sites to protest his arrest. Calling PTI's pre-election troubles a manipulation of the electoral landscape, the country's independent human rights commission has said elections will not be fair, free or credible. Some believe it's too soon to reject the entire electoral process as unfair. Keeping one political party out of the election context for one reason or, one, for one reason or the other will uh, raise many questions on the legitimacy of the exercise. But we can only comment on it after the election process is completed. Three-time ousted former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's party is seen as the establishment's favorite. Like Khan now, Sharif was disqualified from running for parliament before the 2018 vote over corruption charges. He had also fallen out of favor with the powerful military. Observers say seeking the military support to come to power has weakened all political parties and eroded voters' faith in elections. Sharif's close aide, Khwaja Asif, agrees. We are all culpable in this tragedy that we are facing. We have to find a solution, and the best way is to find that solution after this election. But uncertainty looms over whether the February vote will happen at all. The general elections have already been delayed nearly three months, and some politicians are pushing to delay the polls a few months more, citing security threats and a harsh winter in parts of the country. The campaign season also lacks its usual hype. An uncertainty that may lead to low turnout is a red flag. Pakistan's caretaker government says elections will happen as scheduled, but that it's up to the Independent Election Commission to ensure the vote is free and fair. We cannot be um, monitoring Election Commission of Pakistan. It's not our job. We are there to facilitate in every manner that they may need our help, financial, administrative, uh, and security. That we will continue to provide. With PTI losing its iconic election symbol, the bat, on Saturday night, its candidates will now have to run as independents. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Islamabad.